A warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Agunja. Two people are feared dead following a tanker explosion along the Lagos Badagri Expressway on Wednesday. According to the Lagos State Traffic Management Agency, the explosion occurred early in the morning at Barracks Bus Stop or Jaw area of Lagos after the truck fell due to a failed brake. Several vehicles were reportedly also burnt in the inferno. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Walter Onagen, has dragged the federal government before the Court of Appeal over his suspension by President Muhammadu Buhari. In the appeal filed on Monday, Onagen argued that he was not given fair hearing by the CCT before the order to swear in Justice Tanko Mohammed was given. He is now asking the court to rule that the other was null and void. Meanwhile, the National Judicial Council has given the suspended Chief Justice Walter Onagen and the acting CJN Tanko Mohammed seven working days to respond to petitions against them. The council gave the ultimatum at its emergency meeting held in Abuja on Tuesday, where both men were absent. According to a press release by the NJC's Director for Information, Soji Oye, the council took the decision after considering four petitions filed at the Secretariat. The statement explained that the petition against Onogen was filed by Zikrilahi Ibrahim of the Resource Center for Human Rights and Civil Education, while two petitions against Mohammed came from the Center for Justice and Peace Initiative and Ulista Agbakova. Nigeria has improved on the Transparency International Corruption Perception Index for 2018, moving up four places. In the latest report unveiled on Tuesday, Nigeria was ranked 144 out of 180 countries that were surveyed last year. This translates to an upward movement compared to the 148 the nation was ranked in 2017. The Nigeria Police has appointed eight Deputy Inspector General of Police. Ikechiku Ani, spokesperson for the Police Commission, confirmed this at a fourth plenary meeting of the Police Service Commission in Abuja on Tuesday. The seven DIGs are Aminchi Baraya, representing North East Zone, Usman Abubakar, representing the Northwest, Abdullahi Ali, representing North Central, Frederick Taiwo Lekon, representing the Southwest, Godwin Nwobodu, representing South East, and Tony Michael representing South South and Yakubu Jibrin from the North Central. The Central Bank of Nigeria has injected a sum of $210 million into the interbank foreign exchange market. The CBN spokesperson Isaac Okorafo says the intervention were directed at authorized dealers at the wholesale segment of the market, which received about $100 million, while the small and medium enterprises and invincible segments were allocated $55 million each. And still in business, Nigeria's Apex Bank has issued a regulation on the end-to-end -end electronic payment of salaries, pensions and other remittances, suppliers and revenue collection in Nigeria. The CBN, in a circular release on Tuesday, introduced a penalty of 2.5 million naira on DMBs and other financial institutions on every repeated occurrence of specific infractions and termination of the use of unapproved end-to-end e-payment solution. The bank noted that this would reduce the time and cost of transactions, minimize the cages and revenue receipts, and at the same time provide reliable audit trails, thereby making the Nigerian payment system align with international best practices. At least 28 people have died after two boats capsized off the coast of Djibouti, the UN Migration Agency says. The incident occurred about 30 minutes after the overloaded boat set off in heavy seas from Godoria on Tuesday. Meanwhile, a rescue and recovery operation is ongoing. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro says he is ready to sit down for talks with the country's opposition and is open to possibility of third countries mediating. Araya released his comments as the struggle for control of Venezuela intensified with the government preparing for an investigation that could lead to the arrest of opposition leader and self-declared interim president, Juan Guaido, who has called for new street protests. Lastly, a total of 122 athletes from 13 countries have confirmed their participation for the Nigeria Taekwondo Open taking place at the Velodrome Package A of the Abuja National Stadium for February 8 to 10, 2019. Countries expected in Abuja are Saudi Arabia, United States, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria Republic, Congo DRC, Oman, Senegal, Togo, Guadalupe, and Hills, Nigeria. 
for that latest from our newsroom. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I am Fidelia Agoncha.